Having to, you know, he's having to go like this to, to get, out, get out, out of the way of the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was going to talk to you about sunsets. Oh. You know, well, okay, we'll, 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 we'll have a little. Oh my God, oh, I'll I normally, I normally, I normally have to deal with one of one of him, <laughs> two of you. I mean, this is this is this is terrifying. Um, to cope with. Exactly. Uh, yes. Well, um, you carry on. Well, are you still? Oh, you're still on air. Yes. I've done, I've done this bit. <laughs> have you? Oh, yeah. well, what about a forecast? Then? Thank you. That's what we'll do now. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another edition of Zoom 101. I'm your host, Dave Hughes. And I'll be asking the question, do you have something in the entertainment industry, something in old films or TV shows that you hate, that you want to banish? That's the question I'll be asking my friend today. My friend is Kate Baker. I'm cosplayer Lucy Gillespie. Hi, Lucy. Thanks for joining us on Zoom 101. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yeah. I'm glad you were you're back here on the channel. Uh, last time we were being memorable, but today you can have a rant at things you don't like. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's up to me if I decide whether they're worthy of going into the you know the sacred room or Zoom 101. We're not ripping anything off. Okay. So let's hear your first choice. Well, they they all have some sort of connection with each other they all kind of intertwine but i've tried to break it down into three categories so that it makes sense okay hopefully so number one i've just got reality tv shows and i know that's like a big spectrum and i don't mean everything under reality tv shows it's specific ones such as the only way is essex geordie shaw and the worst of them all love island uh, technically, we got Love Island already in. Um, it was oh, yeah, oh, um, brilliant. It was under dating though, so we kind of helped him by point. Oh, I hate Love Island, so that's already. Yeah. But however, your Geordie Shores are still out there. They they all kind of melt into one, just like the yeah. people that are in that are in it, because they all look the same and they're all fake. And it's 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 more the fakery that surrounds it, and that's the kind of reality shows that I hate because they're not real people. So they're saying it's reality. These people aren't real. <laughs> Cause it's all it's all it's scripted and they're all fake looking. They've all got like their lip fillers and their Botox and I'm not just talking about the women. <laughs> 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 you know, it's just they're just not real people. And they all aspire to be these other reality TV people and it's it's just frustrating and I just feel like they don't promote good body positivity either because it's all about who looks the best in a bikini and who's got the biggest pecs rather than who's got the best personality and who's actually a decent human being so that's why I don't like these types of reality TV shows <laughs> but like I say there's exceptions because I love Gogglebox right? and that's classed as a reality TV show but the people on that seem very real. Yes. I'm sure some of it's scripted, but at least they are real people that you could see in the streets. I haven't seen a full episode of um, The Only Way is Essex because I only saw about two minutes and went, this is painful. Yeah. Two that lines at a bar going, mate, yeah. right, mate, let's go over there, chat to that girl. Hey, how are you doing tonight? I'm fine. Yeah. And Look at it, you can tell the reading of a thing. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> Yeah, there's just just everything about them is just awful. And then it's the fact that those people then become celebrities and then kind of like spawn other programs like it and also end up going into celebrity versions of things. So I'll be watching a celebrity panel show or I don't know, celebrity come dine with me. And I don't have a clue who any of the people are because they're all from these reality TV shows. And I'm like, you all look the same anyway. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, that's it. I always have a soft stop for a, I'm a celebrity to get me out of here. Yeah. He's, he's kind of like a flagship show. Because Anthony Decker is straight away, he kind of sold on them. Yeah. 
but it's a thing like who's good in the jungle, and you know, at the back of your mind, even before it's announced, you'll only know two of them. Yeah. Because those who do go in, who's that reality show? Who's that reality star? Who's that? Stop my reality stars in. I'm not the yeah. sheep. I don't want to get <laughs> seen. But it says I'm a celebrity, not yeah. I'm a reality star. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm just some person that had five minutes of fame and yeah. now wants to try and further the career, even though I have no talent. Maybe that's really nasty of me to say, but... <laughs> It's just all fake. The whole thing's just fake, and I can't stand fakeness. Right. I just think people need to be themselves. I, I'm in two minds because I agree with what you're saying. They are talentless people. The <laughs> milking is as much as worth um, for the non-talent they are. Yeah. But what's holding me back is this impression of Chris like, Pratt. Mm. So, like, honestly, I like I saw this guy. <laughs> Like, honestly, did like, like Michael cheat on me when he was in a beef bar? And I was like, <laughs> because he was telling me, he's like, you know, no, I miss you or whatever. And I'm like, mm, you like, miss me? What am I, your mother? <laughs> <laughs> All right, babe. <laughs> 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 oh, I bet he was and I well, Joe. so good. <laughs> yeah. That he, he, that's kind of his stuff because if, if they go in, he has to go with them. Um, but you know, no, I'll, 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 I agree with you totally. I mean, I'm a friend. I end up there going on all these things, but, which not won't happen. <laughs> yeah, but if you if you did, you you're like a real person, so it's I wouldn't be offended. True. It's, yeah, it's the fakery and the fake people. Yeah, there will be no fake <laughs> town. It's the the picture of me out of shape because the, <laughs> in the <they> go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then that's one in. Let's see what your next choice Yay. is. Social media influencers of the fake variety. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. I don't I don't mean people such as yourselves that like to do videos and chats and things like that. I mean right. the sort of people that get sent things that they yeah. promote and people <laughs> people believe that oh yeah they must use this product they love this product it's amazing i must have it in my life not realizing they're getting paid for telling you how amazing that product is and the fact that they make a hell of a lot of money out of it and never have to pay for any of these things <laughs> yeah uh i must admit i am jealous there's some of the things they get sent yeah I mean, uh, <laughs> it's hard to be an influencer for Greg's. <laughs> you, you've made me think of sausage rolls now, so that's it. My mind. Vegan sausage rolls. There you go. <laughs> Both boys and girls, they have such pressure on them to look a certain way, even though the people that they're admiring and aspiring to be like don't look like that themselves. And so it's all that kind of intertwined, which is why, like I say, it kind of fits in with the first one as well, because it's the yeah. fakery. And I just think people should just be themselves. You should just be real and, you know, OK, I'm, I I wear makeup. I, you know, I have been guilty of putting like slight filters on pictures online and things like that, but not to the extremes where I would start like transforming the shape of my body or completely changing my face because people that know me know I don't look like that. So it's that whole kind of thing around that of the media side of it that I just don't think it's healthy for people and I don't think it's getting any better either. I agree with like them, especially with influence and you want to influence the right people and not be careful like you said, like with images, especially if it's especially if bullies involved. Yeah. Um, but some people have made a lot of money out of it. And I wouldn't mind if, if one day I could just, oh, just make money off. I don't like, like it. Influence is not quite my thing, but yeah. it's not going to bring a smile at somebody. And sometimes it's just, hey, I'll, I'll bring you a t shirt. Can you promote big t shirt for big people? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. yeah um, it's, again, it's it's that fine line, like I was saying about the um, reality TV shows. It's like, I'm, I don't want to say that every social media influence is like that. Influencer yeah. is like that. It's just, a lot of the ones that spring up and you know the big ones like you've got your Kylie Jenner's and you've got all your Kardashians and all those sorts of ones that 
quite obviously edit all the photos and things like that. It's yeah, yeah. Maybe there's a bit of jealousy there. I don't know, yeah. but I'd be quite happy if someone I was would, paying right, me. Then. You know, <laughs> I would in this case though. I was going to say a big naughty, but then he said the Kardashians. So if we say <laughs> rich influencers that don't need products, yes, they can go in. That's that's it. People well, that are doing it genuinely to make a living, and and like, you know, just put food on the table, that kind of thing, don't have a problem with. It's the rich ones that just get richer from being fake and selling fakeness. Well, those <laughs> bastards are going in. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> New series of programs that you absolutely love. First series is amazing, like Netflix, um, Amazon Prime, all those kind of things. It's a new series and it's amazing and you get so hooked on it. And then you find out that they're not doing a second series. So it's that or the fact that a series starts out amazing because they've already written like the first few series and they've got like a linear path, they know where the story's going, there's no like big plot holes or anything, but then they continue to write it as it's being filmed. Right. And then it ends up going down the toilet. <laughs> uh, that's the thing, with like, especially with American things coming out, they'll, they'll do one series, they get the pile out, then they get the series out, it's awful, and then, nah, that's it. What? I just got into that. I remember yeah. I really got upset over something. It was like, it was only a cartoon series as well. It was um, Green Latin. Green Latin, oh, yeah. animated series. Yeah, and the money that went into it was, and the stories were great. I then stopped it. I, no, and the reason why I stopped it, because toys weren't selling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people were watching it. Oh, we're doing really well, but toys, toys weren't selling. So, nah, I'll get rid of that. Yeah. Um, but that was obviously a kid's thing. Uh, whereas the other flip side, the things like your <laughs> Game of Thrones, that went really well. And yeah. then prime that, example, that one. <laughs> it was a slide, wasn't it? And then you got yeah. series A all for this and make up for the last series. No, we're <laughs> going to hell here. I absolutely loved The Walking Dead when it first started. The first few series of that were so good. And whether or not they've just continued to write it as it's being filmed or whether they always had like a path that they were going to follow and like an end goal. I'm not sure, but I just feel like it's just lost. It, it sort of became less about how people survive after a zombie apocalypse and more about like the weird little factions and it just got weirder and less and less believable. And it's like, yeah, all right. It's zombies. I know, you know, you've got to have some sense of um, imagination in there to imagine that it's real, but, Still, I liked the fact that it was more based on humans versus humans and how that worked as a dynamic rather than humans versus zombies. Um, and I just feel like that's another show that started off amazing and had so much potential and then just kind of like, just, and I know so many people still love it, but for me, it just sort of filtered out and was just, meh. Uh... <laughs> Zombie. I'm dressed as a zombie, I'm Alan Partridge. City zombies. Probably not Kurt, I don't know whether it was Kurt Cobain or not that said it, but it's better to burn out than fade away. It probably wasn't him, it was probably somebody way before him that said that. Yeah, Vera Lynn. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably like Abraham Lincoln or somewhere, I don't know. But, um, I, yeah. I've got to say, I, I've got to agree because I, I agree with, like, um, I was going to say Basil Fawlty, but I meant John Cleese as... Um, Faulty Towers, he actually said, because he made six episodes, I think it was 1975, and the second series, they had a bit of time off, it was 1979, so if you lapsed. And after that, I said, well, one season three, no, that's it. I'm burnt out after 12. I said, I'm putting everything. I can't do anything else, it's just repetition. So, And then that's it. It's like those two series are so good that you'll re-watch them over and over again, you know. Yeah, it's just good goodness. Two seasons of goodness is better than ten seasons of meh. So quality, not quantity, is definitely going in Zoom one on one. There you go. I have argued my cases. You've Goodbye. argued really well tonight. <laughs> because of that, you are now allowed a fourth item in, uncontested. I will not argue. 
You can put any. It can be anything. It could be anything. 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 There's no restrictions on this one. It could be cornflakes. It could oh, be your dad. Anything. What do I hate most? What do I hate most? It doesn't have to be a hate. Do you? I mean, you know, hate is a strong word. I must admit that it could be. A it pet. is actually. Hate, yeah. yeah. All right, a pet or a, or a peeve. A pet hate or a peeve. Bad drivers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say that I recently started learning to drive and I hated bad drivers before I started learning to drive and now I hate them even more um, so yeah, yeah I mean especially with the pressure <laughs> especially obviously what's coming soon you want to be safe on the road so bad drivers will go in hey! <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Lisa, for joining me on this uh, episode. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Zoom 101. Bye! Bye! Oh, no, I get this. <laughs> it's a dog. It's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well going in. <laughs> I did not need that. Hello. High five. <laughs>